Okay, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to solve a quadratic equation using the difference of two squares method. If you're not familiar with the difference of two squares, I suggest you go back and watch my previous video, which is called the difference of two squares factorizing a quadratic expression. And that goes through it uh, nice and slow, step by step um, on how to factorize the expression uh, before you actually take it to uh, an equation. Okay, so just a quick reminder of what the difference two squares is. We have a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b. I'm going to show you two examples in this video. I'm going to show you x squared minus 25 is equal to 0 and 81x squared is equal to 64. So starting with x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. Uh, first of all, we should write this as, the, the, as two squares. So that's going to be x squared minus 5 squared equal to 0. Now I can factorize it in this form here. So it's going to be x minus 5 times x plus 5 is equal to 0. Now when I factorize a quadratic equation and I get two factors and they're both equal to 0, then I have to let each one uh, individually equal to 0. So I get x minus 5 is equal to 0 and I get x plus 5 is equal to 0. Add 5 to both sides here I get x equal to 5. Subtract 5 from both sides here I get x equal to minus 5. So my two solutions are x equal to 5 and minus 5. Uh, this example here now is a little bit more difficult. Uh, 81x squared is equal to 64. And I want to use the difference of two squares method, so I need to get 0 on that side there. So I'm going to take 64 from both sides. That will give me 81x squared minus 64 equal to 0. Now I'm going to write these as squares, and if you, if you know your square numbers, you'll know that 81 is 9 squared. So that's 9x in brackets to be squared, and 64 is actually 8 squared. So I can say 9x to be squared minus 8 to be squared is equal to 0. Now using the difference of two squares formula, it's 9x minus 8 in the first bracket and 9x plus 8 in the second. And that's equal to 0. Again, let each bracket equal to 0 individually. So 9x minus 8 is equal to 0 and 9x plus 8 is equal to 0. Add 8 to both sides, 9x equals 8. Divide both sides by 9, x is equal to 8 over 9. Over here, subtract 8 from both sides, 9x equals minus 8. And divide both sides by 9, you get x equal to minus 8 over 9. So my two solutions here are x equal to 8 ninths and minus 8 ninths. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments section below and I'll see you next time.